hello everyone today i am going to create this uh, fully parametric uh, triangular waffle slab in revit but before we start let me ask you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start open a new family template file of curtain panel pattern paste and then go to the floor plan then select this pattern and from here this properties dialog box there are different types of patterns and from here select this triangle flat this has a three adaptive points and this bent one has four adaptive points but uh, for now i am going to use this triangle flat okay so as you can see that uh, it, these sides do not have equal dimensions but i want to create an equilateral triangle with the uh, same dimensions on all three sides and same angles that is 60 degree so here i am going to add the horizontal spacing as two feet making the distance between the horizontal distance as four feet but i don't know what should be the distance of uh, that vertical distance so that this side of triangle is also four feet so to uh, calculate that value i am going to apply the pythagoras theorem to get the value for the or that uh, vertical distance as you know the formula for the pythagoras theorem is the uh, b square is equal to a square plus c square or whatever with that b is basically the hypotenuse so um, the uh, so in that way i can get the value for the vertical spacing so that is if that is two feet and that hypotenuse is four feet then being the square value 16 minus 9 uh, 16 minus 4 and that is 12 so so the under root of 12 is going to be the value for the vertical spacing so now i am going to open the calculator and apply the under root to 12 and the value is going to be 3.4641 which is going to be the value for the vertical spacing so now i am going to select this pattern and enter the value 3.4641 feet in this vertical spacing okay so once you have added this value now check the dimensions between these two and these two and you can see that this is four feet and the angle is 60 degrees so i have successfully created an equilateral triangle as desired so now i am going to place a point element in the center point make sure that drawn work plane is selected and then place the point element here now delete these two lines go to 3d select this center point and from here in this properties dialog box add the value for the offset to move it along the z-axis let's say i have added one feet so now select this reference line and make sure draw on face is selected and from here 3d snapping is checked and then uh, draw lines like this and then connect these points now select these three reference lines use control button for multiple selection and then click on create form and in this way draw surfaces on the remaining two sides as well so now i have successfully created uh, a one element for the waffle slab that triangular waffle slab and now i'm going to use this to uh, create a complete ceiling design 
before that apply the material parameter and assign the desired material to these panels now open a new architectural template project file go to level 2 floor plan as it is where the ceiling is going to be go to massing and site tab in place mass click ok and now select the reference lines or rectangle make sure 3d snapping is unchecked and draw on work plane is selected and then draw a rectangle of any dimensions now select these four lines and click on create form then select this surface and but before that uh, load this uh, family file into the project now select the surface and click on divide surface after that you can see that there are multiple patterns available here and the family file is loaded here select it and it has been upload placed on the pattern so here you can uh, change the dimensions of the u grid and the v grid and enter any type of dimensions uh, based on the equilateral triangle and the uh, waffle slab will adopt to that dimensions so it doesn't matter what is the dimensions which you have used in the family file you can change the dimensions anytime you want you can see how the ceiling looks like in the 3d and how easy it is to create a ceiling with the help of a single family file if you want you can rotate it as well like shown in the video using the rotate command You can also flip the ceiling, simply select it and in this properties dialog box, check this component flip and then click apply and the ceiling will be flipped and you can see the pattern which is which was on the top, you can see it in the bottom now. and here you can see that when i change the dimensions for the u grid and the v grid the waffle slab uh, panels adapt according to that and i have already shown you how you can create these triangles as equilateral triangles using the pythagoras theorem and you can also change the end lines about how the pattern should look like on the ends from this as empty or it should be overhanging or it should be in a straight line it all depends upon you and also you can if you wish you can create one more uh, curtain family pattern of a half triangle or you can say a right angle triangle uh, using the generic model adaptive component and then you can place them on the con on these sides of the ceiling as well on this side you can create a right angle triangle in the generic model family and then simply place here so that's all for today I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.